think about, you know, I think the number is you roughly replace your entire skeleton every two years, right, or so? Right. So, you know, if you think about all the remodeling that's constantly going on in your body, bone-wise, it, it only makes sense that if the stress is no longer there, the, the remodeling and the laying down isn't there, that it can sort itself out. Body's pretty good cool. at sorting itself out. Yes, yes, it is. So, so um, in, in terms of a bone spur, so if you were to lengthen the your calf muscles or even just like, you know, kind of like break up some fusions and things like that and then shrink in the front part of your in, your shin. Mm -hmm. I mean, with that. Or even vice versa, I mean, maybe. That, yeah. Many of your clients might be familiar with, you know, doing heel walks and other ways to strengthen right. the front of your, of your foot. And I have this sort of saying, I didn't come up with it, I forget where I heard it, but in order to lengthen, you have to earn the length on the back by strengthening the front. Wow, wow. Right? I so like that. You, you have to earn that. You can't, you can do all the calf lengthening you want. It's not going to stick until, front strength. If, if there's an imbalance, it's not going to stick until you strengthen the front. Wow. Because that's a brain thing, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're in a neurology and now you're fighting a tug of war around joints and you're not going to win no matter how many calf stretches you do. Mm -hmm. You got to mm -hmm. earn it. I gotcha. think that is probably like the number one reason that just Googling plantar fasciitis or something like that and seeing like just put a lacrosse ball or something on your foot and right. isn't getting people more results. Stretches, mm -hmm. never got me anywhere. Never right. got any of my clients anywhere. Right. Is because no matter what we were doing back here, it never mattered because we were never shrinking in the front. Right. right. And that's what we need to do now. Of course, of course. Cool. It's all connected. It's like a little bit of strength. Nice. And then ultimately, nice. what strengthening here would do would relieve a lot of the tension that we put on our calves just naturally. So we wouldn't go right back to them being really tight. We could use the front of our leg more. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Well, Thank you so much, Dr. Stuart Curry over here at Mojo Feet. A lot of great information here. Guys, check him out online. You're, you've got mojofeet.com, and you're also out there on Facebook. Feel free, and uh, we're going to show you what exercises, mobility you guys can do for everything we've discussed today, tomorrow, for day four of From the Ground Up. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys later.